Hello, and welcome to my craft studio. I am Beth Roy, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and thanks for visiting me on my channel, Stamp and Create with Beth. Today, I'm gonna to make a quick note card using the welcoming window. I love the stamp set. It is retiring from Stampin' Up! Um, in May 2nd will be the last day, and it does have some coordinating dies, but I think this is a great stamp set to have in your stash. And we're gonna make a note card today with this layout and colors. And you can also make um, really cute cards with the freestanding dies. And here's one with a little bit different color scheme so that the stone looks more like a brick. So instead of a window today, we're gonna make a stone wall with some stacked pots. And I'm gonna go over how to uh, stack the pots and mask and how to create this beautiful card as a note card. So my color scheme for today, I'm using Night of Navy, Balmy Blue, Calypso Coral, Old Olive, Smoky Slate, and Basic Gray. And one of my favorite products that we have are the note cards. So these come in um, a set of 20, and they're pre-cut and scored, and then they also have matching envelopes. So this makes for quick cards. Now, these are mailable here in the US. And when they're folded, they are five inches by three and a half. So I'm just going to use my bone folder and get a nice crisp edge. These are thick, basic white note cards. So it does take a little bit to get them folded, but a bone folder will make easy work of that. And then I am going to use a Calypso Coral mat, which is four and three fourths inch by three and a quarter inch. And I have two of those. I have one for the inside and one for the front of the card. And then I have a basic white layer that is four and a half by three inches. And I also have another one for the inside. So let's get to stamping. First, I'm going to stamp my wall and then I'm gonna add in everything else. Let's bring these in. This, I love this texture. It's like stone or bricks. I, I love this stamp. It goes great with lots of different things, not just the stamp set great thing to have in your stash. Now, when you're stamping with photopolymer, you will need a stamp and pierce mat. So I'm going to move some of these things out of the way here, except for my piece I'm stamping. And then I also have a little piece of grid paper. So I'm going to stamp, um, this is like a, a window seal part. I think it's supposed to be wood, but we're going to stamp it like it's the top of our wall. And I'm just gonna do that right across here. Now on this card, because this is a full size card, this is a five and a half by four and a quarter card, uh, inch card. So I have a lot more room up here. So when you're planning out your card, you just wanna look and make sure that you're going to have enough room to stamp what you want in there. And I think I'm gonna change my card up just a tad. I think I'm gonna move this down here and put it on my little ledge that I stamped. And I'll move a little pot up here so that I have a little bit more room to make my wall tall. So I'm gonna start up here, but first I wanna make sure I have enough room for my flowers. So I think I'm gonna use the smaller pot I'm just gonna kind of gauge this out here. And I wanna do this. So I'm gonna scoot this down and that's about where I want it. So I know that I'm just gonna use this grid line right here. Oops. To kind of gauge where I want this to go. So I'm actually gonna start down here. I'm gonna take these off 
And I always keep a little pencil um, nearby. So if I have this here, I'm gonna stamp this, the bottom of it, right on this grid line. I'm just making a mess of my stamps here, aren't I? Okay. So if this is here and I stamp this like that, then I will have enough room. So I'm just kind of setting up my card to make sure I have enough room. And it's okay if you don't do it exactly how you originally planned, that's okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp the top of my wall in basic gray. So I'm just inking this up. Let me scoot over just a tad here. I'm just inking this up by tapping onto my ink pad here. So I'm just inking it again and I'm just continuing it across like that. Now I'm gonna need this again. So I'm just gonna leave this off to the side. I'm gonna close this. Now to do the stone, I'm gonna use some smoky slate and I am going to stamp it and stamp off. So when we stamp, when we ink and we stamp, that is called a first generation. And when you stamp off, that's called the second generation. So over here on my pad, that's first generation and then second generation. And you can see how you get a variation there. So that's what we're going to use to create these light and dark stone sections. And if you've re-inked recently, then it may be just a tad darker than it, than it is in your original. So I just stamped off and then I turned it and stamped again. And I think I'm gonna stamp off a little bit because it's a little darker since I re-inked it. So I'm stamping off and then stamping onto my project. And if you wanna stamp off twice, then you can do that. So you can kind of see the variation there. And that gives us room to stamp our pots so that they'll show up. And it is gonna look a little more compact than our original card because it is stamped um, in a smaller space in a shorter card. So we're going to use, to stamp our pots, we're gonna use the Night of Navy in the Balmy Blue. We're going to stack these and then I'm going to show you how I did the masking. So when we mask something, we want to stamp the first image that we want the full image of. So we're going to stamp this pot on the bottom and then we're going to make a mask. And how I made this mask was I simply stamped onto a post-it note where I have a stack here. So I just used a regular post-it note. You can use masking paper or anything that's thin. So you just stamp onto this and then you cut around it. And you're gonna need that for the first two pots or however many that you're stacking. Now this um, stamp set has three sizes. So I just inked this up and I used the side with this sticky and I stamped one and then I cut around it with my snips. And be careful if it needs to dry for a second. So I just um, cut around it. And I cut very close to the image. I want it to be right on the edge. That way it leaves no lines between the two objects. I want them to truly overlap. So you just cut around it. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
just want to make sure um, you get really close to the line. I didn't let it dry enough, so I got ink all over my fingers, which is typical for card makers and crafters. <laughs> so, so there you have it. That's how you make your mask. And then I stick mine inside my stamp case and I use it over and over again. Okay, so we're gonna stamp our first pot here. Oh, I forgot one thing. Let me back up for just a second. On the bottom of my card, I stamped what would be kind of like a little patio area. So I'm going to grab this long stamp again and I'm going to stamp, I'm just gonna use the smoky slate. Since I've recently re-inked it, it is dark enough. And I'm just gonna let this hang off the edge a little bit just to ground my pots here. There we go. Now let's take this, uh, this big pot again and I'm gonna ink it in the Night of Navy. And I wanna make sure I have a lot of ink on there. And I don't know if you can see, this stamp has a lot of detail, so it's really fun. And I'm just going to put that right on top of that gray piece on the bottom. And now we're gonna begin stacking. So I'm just gonna let that dry for just a second. I'm gonna switch out my stamps. I wanna use this one next. And you can use these, um, these first two in any order that you like. There's also a small pot that we're going to stamp. So we take, let's use our new mask. We're gonna take this mask that we just made and we're just gonna lay it over top of that. So see how it just covers it, just barely covering up your image. And then I'm gonna ink up the next one in Night of Navy. Now you can stamp off if you want this a little um, lighter than the other one, or you can stamp directly onto it the same way. So I'm going to, I'm gonna lean it this way a little bit and just stack that right in there. So our mask keeps the pot from overlapping the first one, but it looks like it's tucked right inside. Now I'm just cleaning my stamp because when we stamp it on the top, it's gonna to be balmy blue. So I wanna make sure I get all the Night of Navy off of there. And we're going to use the balmy blue to stamp the smallest pot here. I think this card would be cute with just the flower pots stamped don't really need anything else. And I'm going to lay this one right over top and you can see it's, it's cut very, very tight to that image. And then I'm inking this little pot up in balmy blue, just making sure I get enough ink on there. And I'm just sticking it right in there. And then when you peel this off, peel off your masks, you will have some stacked pots. Isn't that fun? So now I do wanna have a little ledge, but I'm gonna swap out some of my pots. I'm gonna put my picture down here and we need a ledge. So let's see where we would want this to go. Maybe right here. I'll put a little ledge in here. You could put it a little over. This is a little too dark for me to stamp over. Let's see. So I need my smoky slate, or you could use the basic gray and stamp off a few times. So I'm just going to stamp this maybe along this line. So it's almost like there's a little shelf right, 
on that. And then let's stamp our little picture here. Sorry about all the camera movement. I keep touching my desk. I'm a little forceful with my ink pad. So I'm just stamp or inking that up and I'm going to stamp it right on here. And if you wanted it darker, because it does kind of look like it's see-through, you're seeing the brick behind it. If you wanted it darker, you could use your Stamparatus and then continue mm -hmm. to ink it and add um, some more color on there, but I'm fine with it the way it is. Now we need some pots up here. So I'm gonna use this pot and we're gonna, that's in balmy blue. And then I think I'm gonna add in a little one. Let me add in a few, few more. Let's bring in some of that dark blue back to the top. I did have my sentiment here, but I'm gonna stamp this um, a little bit different. So I think I'm gonna bring in a little bit more blue. Whoops, sorry about that, hit my camera. So I'm gonna take this little pot, I'm gonna just stick it right here next to this one. There we go. I think these make such cute cards. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in our green, which is Old Olive and Calypso Coral. We're gonna save that greeting for last. Oh, and I do wanna stamp my inside, so let me come back to these blues really quickly. We're gonna stamp the inside with just a couple layered pots. So, let me grab these back. I'm gonna take one of the, the big pot that we used on the front. I'm just gonna stamp it down here in the corner. And I'm gonna take that other little pot. And I need my mask again. I just tuck those on the inside of my stamp case and then I use them over and over until they just literally won't stick anymore. I'm going to take that other pot and I'm going to ink it up really well with that balmy blue and then I'm just going to layer it into there. There we go. Isn't that cute? Now, now that's going to be for the inside and I'm going to leave the words um, blank. So on the inside, I won't have any words. I'm just going to have those little images. I'm going to do some greenery here. So I want to use this little stamp, this little one to cut, to come out of this little pot. And then I'm going to show you a trick to add some greenery because we don't have any grass or anything with the stamp set. So I'm going to ink this up. I'm gonna stamp this right into this pot right here. And then I'm gonna clean my stamp. So I do have it off the screen. I have a stamp and scrub, um, or you can use a chamois, and I'm just cleaning the ink off of that. Because when I ink this up again for my little tuft of grass, and you could, um, here I stamped it again like there was grass growing up between the stones. So you can do that. But to, to get just this top part, I'm going to let my stamp hang off my ink pad and I'm just picking up the ink on that top part. You could also put a piece of tape over this or a sticky note. And we're just going to stamp that in and then I'm gonna ink it again. I'm gonna use it on the inside as well. Isn't that cute? So there's the inside of our card. We will mount that in a second. And I'm gonna add a little bit more greenery over here. So it's like the grass is growing up. Let's see. 
and missed a little piece. That's all right. So we've got our water pitcher. We've got our little foliage that's coming out. And now we're going to stamp these flowers. Um, so you have two sets of flowers here. You have this greenery with these flowers. And then you have this greenery with these flowers. So we're going to stamp this one. So the flowers are going to stamp up here. And I like to stamp the flowers first because I can see it better to line up. But you could also stamp the greenery first and then stamp your flowers in it. So I know I want this to go. Hmm, it's going to overlap a little bit. I did it over just a little bit too far. That's okay. It can run off the card. Don't worry. I'm trying to see where this flower lands and it's okay if they overlap oops so I'm going to pick up my flowers and they're going to get stamped in calypso coral I love using the calypso coral with the blue they complement each other very well so let's kind of stamp it like that Then I'm going to put my greenery on there and I'm going to stamp this in the old olive. And I'm just lining up the flowers with the greenery. There we go. I got most of it on there. So you've got a couple potted plants, you have your, your pots and your little water pitcher. And now we're going to stamp in the Night of Navy. And you could use any of these colors really to stamp your greeting. I'm just pulling in the blue because I'm going to use Calypso Coral for the mat. So I feel like it really pulls in um, those colors well and complements each other. So this has lots of beautiful greetings. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Sending um, sunshine for a beautiful birthday. Thank you, sweet friend. Welcome. So if you have a new person to a group or even your family or to your neighborhood, you could give them a welcome card. Um, and wishing our paths crossed a little more often is a um, beautiful saying if you haven't seen some in a while, someone in a while. So I did stamp um, this card we did on one of my Facebook Lives over on my Facebook page, which is Beth Roy, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. And we did it, My Sweet Friend, because you could make the inside anything. And we used on this card, Cajun Craze and Cinnamon Cider to make a brick wall, which is really fun. So, and then this card I made into a Mother's Day card. So this is a birthday card. So I think I'm going to stamp this one. Thank you. So I can have a nice set of cards with different greetings, but all made with the same set. So we're gonna stamp thank you up here in the corner. And we're going to use the Knight of Navy. pick up my stamp and I am using a small block when you're stamping and you use um, blocks that are closer to your stamp size it's easier to stamp and not rock your block and get ink everywhere so I'm just kind of eyeballing this and hoping I stamp it straight looks like I did good so there we have it so the inside is pretty and decorated and I can write my personal note so we are ready to assemble so we're going to take our base and we have our mat and I'm just using liquid glue I'm not going to add any bulk to this because I'm using quite a bit of cardstock And I just love 
how that Calypso Coral really brings out all the blues. And then we have our little, our little walled garden there. Now the liquid glue gives you a little bit of time to move things around if you didn't lay them down perfect, which is one of the reasons why I love this glue. But you just wanna make sure that once you have it where you want it, hold it in place before you rub on your card front because it will slip and move. And we have our little stacked pots for the inside. So I hope you enjoyed this card. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my page so you can get um, notified when I make new videos. And invite your friends to come along and make a quick note card with us. And you can always find more inspiration over on my Facebook page. And you can find it by typing at Stampin' with Beth Roy in your search bar or Beth Roy, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Now the Welcoming Window um, stamp set, bundle, and dies are all retiring by May 2nd or while supplies last. So if you love this bundle and you don't have a demonstrator, feel free to pop on over to my online store at bethroy.stampinup.net and click on the shop now and this is in the last chance section. So I love making quick note cards and I like making little sets that match. So here we, here we are with all of the samples and we converted this full sized card into a cute note card. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Take care.